is if Chavez misses weight, let's say Chavez comes in two to three pounds heavier than what he's supposed to, call me back because I might have a different prediction, and I'm not lying about that. If he comes in heavy, maybe, just maybe, they are planning to try to win this fight. But people, if he Chavez comes in at 164 and a half and looks fucking dead on the scale, stop it. Stop. This kid is slow. This kid has no defense. He he punches. You can telegraph his punches. He's not a, a slick boxer whatsoever. Canelo's going to waste him. Canelo, see, listen, I don't like Canelo as a boxer. You know that, Lee. I've always been against it. I've always said he, if he wanted to be a boxer, he should bring in Nacho Bernstein to teach him how to be a legit boxer. He never has. I've really never liked his skills. I think they're average against an American boxer. Now, the reason why Canelo thinks he's so good at being a boxer is because when you put a Latin fighter in front of this guy, he'll walk right through him. His defense is better. His head movement's better. His jabs, his combinations. He is a great boxer when you have him in the ring with a Latin fighter. Chavez is a poor man's Latin fighter. He's not even really good at being a Latin fighter. Canelo's going to waste him. I think Canelo, I see Canelo head movement being way too good for Chavez's offense. I see his feet movement being too good for Chavez. And then you got his combinations, his hooks, his uppercuts, his jab right hand. Canelo's a full package. You guys just watch some of the tapes with him against flat-footed fighters. Um, Preferably uh, Alfredo Angulo. Um, That was a big fight. That was the two big Mexican fighters, good fighters at the time. Canelo walks right through that guy. Um, Liam Smith. uh, I know he's from the UK, but he was also heavy-footed fighter. Canelo had no issue. Yes, he he had a downside late in the fight, but he ends up knocking him out two rounds after. So... I, I like this fight, Lee, on the side that it has sparked um, some energy in, in the fan base. We see him turning out for it. Hopefully, Chavez has a little bit at 164 and a half to give us some good rounds. But I'm not laying no money on it. And I'm not telling my guys to lay any money on it. What I would say is, if there is an under of 10 and a half, 9 and a half, I would take the under over everything. Um, because if Chavez wins, it'll probably be in the first six rounds. Um, and if Canelo wins, it's going to be in the, the later rounds. But I don't see it going past 10 and a half. Or, or what would it be? Uh, one minute, 30 seconds into the 10 round, 10th round. I like that odd. I would take that odd. Um, so I have Canelo winning this fight by knockout, by stoppage. But my bet if the casino is giving it, would be to take the under just to cover all bases. Okay. Is it going to be a worthwhile fight to watch? I'm hoping. I'm hoping Chavez has. Look at we all hope De La Hoya Pacquiao was worth the the uh, worth the time to watch, and it wasn't. Oscar was absolutely dead in that fight. It was just a matter of time before they he either quit fell or they stopped it like we knew that going into like round three i think in round three he doesn't even throw a punch it was fucking ridiculous that fight uh this fight look at they the last picture they released on chavez jr working out the kid looked pale as shit and he's five and a half pounds away from it and he i don't know what they're gonna do you he, he literally right now has to lose. I think the last time I did the math, he had to lose like a pound a day and it, to, make, to make weight on, on Friday. And Lee, he, he looked skinniest. It was like the skinniest we've ever seen Chavez already. And we know that this kid has trouble making weight. He's missed weight many I times. I still think you take this. I think they're taking this he, fight. He, I don't see how they're not taking the fight. Oh, they're not. Yeah, and no, I'm not I think he is trying that. to cut weight. I'm so not... whatever version of Chavez Jr. shows up will be easy. Look, everybody listening, I'm going to make this clear. Canelo is literally going to dismantle and demolish Chavez Jr. I don't it I don't see how it way, isn't. Lee. It really does. Especially if he makes weight. If. 
Oh, Canelo's eating whatever he wanted. Come on, 14 pounds? He don't even have to cut weight to make to make gain uh, 14 it's pounds. <laughs> no, wait, let me do the math right. He's 155. He had to go to 164 and a half, Lee. So what is that? That's 14 and a half or 10 and a half. Damn, am I stupid or what? Oh, no, I completely agree. I'm with you. It's out of control. It's ridiculous. It's 10 and a half. See, so either way, Lee, he he got to gain a lot of weight while training. I don't I don't see Canelo hurting himself to make 164 and a half. No, not at all. Right? It's a cakewalk. This is a cakewalk and Canelo just has to be faster. That's it. He's going to come in round 1 jabbing, circling, throwing combo. Like Chavez better be fucking ready for this. He better be ready for this kid to be on the move in round one because he knows Chavez in his best shape really isn't a good uh, um, fighter when you're when you're moving circles around him. He just isn't. He's too slow. His defense isn't I'll go, good enough. I'll go a step Hello? further. I think anyone... this is going to be a ridiculously lopsided fight. How does Chavez stop him? The left hook. Look at He's got to throw – Chavez has to know how to take a lot of punches in the first five rounds, limit the damage, and throw a lot of body shots. I, If I'm Chavez, I'm not going to the head at all in the first five rounds. I'm trying to limit the damage that Canelo's doing because we know Canelo comes out strong fast in almost every fight. Keep, keep the, the weight on him. If Chavez can somehow make weight – and then that night, gain 15 to 17 pounds back, put the weight on Canelo. Lean on him. While you're in the inside, don't tie up. Keep your left hook moving on Canelo. If he, if we can see, I don't care if he's down, five zip. As long as he's limited the damage to his face and body, and we've seen him land his power shot, his signature left hook to the body like his dad, then he has a chance. Then he had, but Lee, if this fucking first round is jab, jab, uppercut, right hand, and I'm gone, uh, he ain't going six. He's not going six. He, he, the bell rings, you take five punches in a row, and you're telling me you're going to be here five rounds from now? Nah, I don't see it. He's got to be on point fast. If he's not on point, Canelo is a much heavier puncher than Pacquiao was against De La Hoya in the welterweight division. Canelo ices him fast if Chavez can't, can't limit. The damage, and I'm talking moving the head as much as you can and picking off shots. His father's greatest defense was picking off shots. His head movement was underrated, but his his best part of his defense was hit, hitting those shots away with his his hands. Chavez said he got it from the martial art. I can't I can't remember the the martial art that he took, but he used to be in a, a martial arts where they do a lot of hand. Uh, combat you mean, picking off shots you mean and eating. that's what Chavez like, said. I don't believe he's ever taken a martial like he's oh Chavez no Ch Chavez, Chavez senior senior. Oh. senior Chavez senior said he used to take a martial art that uh and I can't remember the name of it but it that's what taught him how to pick uh the the hands of a fighter uh -huh. you know I thought you were gonna shots. say Chavez Jr. um his discipline no 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 you know damn Chavez well like, Jun ain't Chavez never done Jr. Shit, is only found never a buffet. I mean that this, I know. This kid used to be on the 24-7 show in pink underwear eating cereal at 11.30 at night. Like, stop it. <laughs> there used to be no dedication for Charlie. He, what, he used to fight like junior middleweights at the super middleweight I don't, division. I never understood. Okay, I'm going to make this clear because if you're not a longtime listener of this show, I am obsessed with Chavez Jr. I do not understand how this kid has made it this far. I don't even know how he's in this fight. He's so far out of his depth that it doesn't even make sense to me. I got another one. It, I've always said Chavez needs to study his father because in a lot of ways, he's not his dad, but that's all he can be really in this sport. He's not a boxer at all. Uh, and Chavez was. His father was a boxer puncher. But I'm, I'm talking more about the Chavez senior punching side. Chavez needs to look at those videos and bring that style into this fight. Because, Lee, 
If he is able, let's just say he's able to get through the first five rounds, limit damage, and and create some own uh, create some of his own to Canelo's body. Let's say he gets there. Canelo has shown in almost every single fight that he has lapses it, during the rounds where he'll lay on the ropes. If Chavez Jr. gets Canelo on the ropes, he must stop with the jab and throw lead right hands. His dad was perfect at it. Matter of fact, his brother Omar took out Alvarez's brother last night with the right hand. Lead right hand multiple times, left hook coming right behind it. When you're throwing two power shots on a guy who's on the ropes, has nowhere to go, and one of them lands, you're breaking foundation at that moment. Not throw the jab, doesn't do shit, hits the guy, now the guy knows you're coming, and ducks, uh, clinches, or circles out of the way, and your whole time is gone. He can't waste his opportunities on the ropes with Canelo throwing jabs. Lead right hand, left hook, either to the body, the head, it doesn't matter. But if Canelo gives Chavez this opportunity, he has to capitalize on it. I think if Chavez can do that, this fight gets very close late because of Canelo's problems with his stamina late in fights. So this whole, to me, this thing goes down to Friday, Lee. And that's why I say when we do our show, our build-up show again, the morning of, to, to this fight, I might have a totally different prediction, you guys, because I need to see what Junior looks like on the scale. I want to know if they carried his ass there, if he walked there, if he looks dead, if he looks confident. Friday's weigh-ins is going to say a lot about my prediction going into the Saturday. Right now, off of pictures, videos, and one other thing I forgot to tell you guys that I'm going to bring up that's really important in my, my prediction for this fight is the fact that Nacho Bernstein threatened to walk away. I told you guys three months ago when, it, when Nacho came into the picture that if Nacho Bernstein was not going to get 100% from Chavez Jr., he would walk. And damn it, he did that. He threatened to walk, and I don't like that because that means these two were beefing, were arguing during training to the point where the trainer said, you know what? I'm out of this. I'm not. This is a fiasco. This is a, a money grab, and I'm not going to have any part of it. He's too big for that. That scares me about this fight. That that tells me right there. Did Chavez train 100 percent as Nacho wanted him, or are these two just they just worked it out so this thing isn't a total bust? Because let me tell you, Mexican fight fans are not stupid. If Nacho would have walked three weeks ago. This fight doesn't have the same momentum as it does right now going into this fight. Nacho Bernstein in Chavez Jr.'s corner gives a lot of credibility to Chavez Jr. beating uh, Saul Alvarez. Believe me, if that happens, the Mexicans that know Nacho, that know his history in the sport, are going to give him more credit than they give Chavez for beating Canelo. Strong. Strong. You know that this fight could wind up being really shitty. I, I think it could wind up being oh, three, three rounds. rounds yes, sir. Epic. Yes, sir, I do. Three, look, <laughs> three to six rounds would be epic. What I don't want to see is ten plotting rounds of shit. Chavez has the chin and the heart. This kid is a kid has a lot of pride because of who he's tried to live up to his whole career. So I'm going to give Chavez that he's going to take his beating like he always has. Even when he got given the decisions, the kid took his beating like a man. He didn't cry. He didn't quit. Okay. He didn't retire. He's never told you, oh, I want to retire. No, he's got, he is a man with pride and heart. He will stick it out with Saul Alvarez until there's nothing left. There you go. Is that enough of a build up show for everybody? So tell me about Chavez, comes, Canelo, uh, the bro Alvarez brothers and the drama that. It was only two rounds. It was only two rounds, and Omar came out swinging. Um, like I said, he got Alvarez to the ropes, Lee, and he fucking threw away that jab and started coming power. As soon as the power connected and he heard him, he threw a combo, fight's over. That's how, that's, whenever you lack the boxing skills and you get opportunities where fighters' backs are on the ropes, you cannot 
waste it with jabs. And I know there's a million trainers probably think I'm stupid as shit saying that 